Joe, what, what issues were you guys having out there, with, specifically with the starting group tonight? Um, you know, I think we, we came out just a, a little too flat. Uh, you can't, you know, you can't walk in and just expect to win games. Um, and, uh, you know, they hit us in the mouth early. We didn't respond particularly well. And we battled back second unit, did a good job of getting us back into the game. But, uh, you know, our energy, that starting unit, we just didn't do a good, good enough job start of the first quarter and start of the third. Defensive communication, where was that tonight? I know that's been an ongoing thing that you guys have been working on. Yeah. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we had a tough time uh, guarding them. Just, you know, they had five guys spacing the floor. You know, it's the first time all season where we played against uh, a team where, you know, pretty much everybody on the floor, there's no shift guys. There's no guys you're really helping off of. Everybody was capable of knocking down threes, and they stretched us out. We were able to kind of penetrate, get into the paint, but then they just did an excellent job knocking down threes, too. This isn't the first time that you guys have come out in the first quarter, though, kind of giving up more points than you would like in the first quarter. Yeah. Have you seen a worrying trend of that kind of digging yourself holes? That you yeah. Really you know, we've talked about it. I think we, the first, whatever, six games of the season seemed like every first quarter, with the exception of maybe one, uh, we had lost and we had given up more than 30 points. So it was definitely a point of emphasis um, to come out, start off the game right. You know, I think it's just one of those things where, you know, you, we, we kind of got back to, uh, you know, winning the first quarter, doing a good job starting out, but it's just, it needs to be reminded, and it needs to be reminded, you know, amongst each other, uh, you know, the, the, how important the start of every game is. You know, you don't want the momentum to shift, especially when you're on the road. Um, like a game like tonight, momentum shifts, goes in their favor, and you're just kind of digging yourself out of the hole from, from the get-go. You're one of the, the veterans who was here last year when the team got it together defensively and played really well defensively, especially toward the end of the season. So with all the new faces, you know, what has the adjustment been like in terms of new guys coming in and kind of learning the same defensive principles that worked last year? Yeah, I think, um, you know, same thing as the offensive end of the ball. You have to develop that chemistry and that trust with one another. And, you know, it takes time. Obviously, we're, you know, we're not at game one anymore, but we're still early in the year. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of our woes can be resolved by just over communicating, making sure that guys are talking. Um, you know, when the communication is not there, it's, it's hard to pick up for one another defensively. And, uh, you know, I think. Sim real simple though too it's just keeping your man in front not putting ourselves in a position where we have to over rotate over help um, and just being able to guard your man individually Joe, how big was the bench thing just in getting you guys back from that that big deficit they they keep that big run and mm -hmm. it seems like garrett and a couple of other guys just hit some big shots to, to get them rolling yeah the uh second unit did a good job of just you know digging us out of that hole a little bit um, but again you just don't want to be in that position, especially on the road um, against a team that's playing really well, too. Uh, it's really difficult just to kind of try and crawl back um, when the momentum has shifted that way. Can you say that there's been a couple You're back even with them that kind of out of gas? Is that something that happened tonight, you think, or is it was a different mm, case tonight? You know, I don't know. I think, you know, we just, we honestly kind of got handled pretty much for majority of the night. We had a couple of good spurts that, like you mentioned, with the second unit getting us back, but. You know, for the most part, we just kind of got outplayed. Um, you know, we just didn't do a good enough job competing, um, you know, making things tough on them. It seemed like they were in a rhythm pretty much the whole night, whether it was Rubio, probing, getting downhill, finishing at the rim, Booker, uh, threes, I mean, you name it. They kind of go across the board. There was a lot of guys that just were very comfortable offensively, and we just didn't do a good enough job being the aggressors, especially from the beginning. You guys have been really good on offense playing small, but does the small ball make it a little bit more difficult on the defensive end? No, I don't think it should affect us on the defensive end. Obviously, the one thing that you would think that it would hinder you a little bit is defensive rebounding, but we've done a pretty good job. I think, um, you know, defense at the end of the day, you know, the, the aggressive side tend to has the advantage, and, you know, when you're playing on your heels, uh, it's really difficult, uh, and that's sort of where we found ourselves a little bit tonight where, you know, we didn't really set the tone on the defensive end of the ball. Um, you know, whether it was to start the game, Baines hitting one wide open threes, and then it kind of just went from there. And it seemed like they were in the paint all night long, spraying the ball around. I mean, it's credit to them, though, too. There's, you know, a good basketball team, a smart basketball team. They execute stuff well. They do a good job getting into the paint, making the right play. 
um, and they made us pay. But a lot of it is just us needing to be more aggressive on that end of the ball. Joe, heading into this next game against another talented team, what's the biggest thing that you guys would like to clean up heading into that one? Yeah, this is a very difficult road trip for us, but it's going to be it's going to test us. Um, and I think um, you know, obviously this this defeat is tough. Uh, anytime you get you get blasted like that, uh, it humbles you. But I think there's a lot that we can learn from it. A lot that we can kind of you know take and hopefully you know apply in our game against Utah, who's again you know one of the better teams in the NBA this year.